Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great spooky day. For today's Vlogoween, we are making the Halloween treat bags. Yay! I know in yesterday's video I said we would hold off a bit, but I got a little too excited. This is like my favorite thing to do is to give out treats to the trick-or-treaters. Do you hear that plane? There are so many planes going by the house. It's crazy. Sorry about the plane noise if you hear it. Um, but it's literally my favorite thing to do is to give away all the treats and goodies. And I just couldn't wait any longer to do it. But another reason I'm doing them right now is because I kind of want to get a feel of how much more candy I'll need. I know we, we know we're going to need more candy because we always get at least 100 trick-or-treaters every year. And I live in a big metropolitan area and my neighborhood is growing and growing every year. So we definitely know that we're going to need more candy. But I want to get the bags together so then we can kind of judge how much more candy we're going to need to buy. So I'll show you guys the setup I have here in just a moment. And I'm not going to use the witch treat bags just yet because my mom wants to use those for work. So we'll hold off on that for a bit. So I'll show you the setup, we'll make a couple bags, we'll chit chat, it'll be so much fun. I'm looking at my spread and I'm so happy. I want more. <laughs> I want to give away so much more, but this is all I can do for now. And I know not every kid is going to get a treat bag because there are just so many kids every single year. But this year I'm going to actually count and see how many treat bags I give away. So then that way I can be prepared more for the next year. So something that um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Graveyard Girl, Bunny, if you remember the Swamp Family, you all know Bunny, and that she does her treat bag video every single year. Because she's the queen. She's the queen of Halloween, queen of treat bags. She, she's got her stuff together. So what she does is November 1st, basically midnight, she goes to Walmart and gets everything like 50% off. So I'm hoping to do that this year and I can get more stuff and hold on to it for next year. So I have an abundance of, of like toys and pencils and erasers and all the great stuff that I like to get when I was young. And another thing that she said that she does is she gives away money because she remembers when she was little she would get pennies and I thought that was really neat. So she gives away like dollars and five dollars. <laughs> I can't give away that much money. I know that sounds like odd or greedy, but I thought quarters would be fine because I don't know if I was a little kid and I got like a couple quarters in my bag, I'd still be happy. I'd be like, that's so neat. I got money. And I wouldn't care how much it was because you're a kid. I don't know. Even like now walking down the street, if I see a quarter, that's so cool. <laughs> So this is my arsenal. We have these little skeleton guys that I showed y'all in my last haul. The little loop. So you can make them to a necklace. We have these little recorder flutes. These little sticky stuff. And then I found these guys. I used these for a Halloween invitation party that I made. And I still had them left over. So I knew I had them somewhere. So they're here. And they're not like horribly sticky. Like they're really, you can touch them and they're fine, but they're really cute and they're really neat. Then I have these bouncy balls and more of these little like whistle type thing, things. Then we have our yo-yos, our vampire teeth, clean hands, always work with clean hands. And we have erasers. And then we have our little spiky balls here. And then I remember in that same um, invitation, I put these little kaleidoscope looking kind of things. You see that? Yeah. <gasps> That's cool. Sorry, I'm easily amused. But yeah, so I had some more of those that I knew I had. So those are going. We have these little witch fingers. I haven't played with a witch finger since I was a kid. I like that. Oh. Uh, get off. 
Then we have these little skull rings. That surprised me. I didn't know they were in that huge pack of things. That was neat. Then we have our bat rings. Here are some quarter stacks that I have. Here are some little plastic bat things. Then we have our pencils. This isn't all of our pencils. I have some in back stock for when I run out. And then we have the candy. We got our Butterfingers. We got our Baby Roofs. We got our Crunch Bars. Twix. Milky Way Snickers. Milky Way Midnight somewhere in here. Here we are. Here's one. Milky Way Midnight. And then we have our Laffy Taffies. And our Nerds. And then our Bottle Caps. And then Twizzlers. I know some kids don't like Twizzlers, but I love Twizzlers. But that's the setup. That's the array of things. Oh, and these sticky things besides these little skeletons. There's like, that one looks kind of gnarly, but there's a little bat. I don't know how sticky these are. They're in a bag. I think they're pretty sticky. But we also have a scorpion. I want to get a good one. Here we are. Scorpion. That's neat. Right? I think that's neat. Kids like sticky stuff. I'm always playing with sticky stuff. And there's the spread once more. So now, let's assemble a treat bag. Shall we? I want to go with this little skull guy first, this little skeleton, because he's so dang adorable, so cute, and the little twisty ties, get those ready. I always like to pull them apart, just so they're at the ready, and I don't need to be doing this every single time I grab a new bag, it's just already broken off and ready to go. Okay, so let's see. I am going to put one of these little noisemaker whistles. I want to try one. Let's see. Which one do I want? I'm going to take this purple one. I bet I don't even know how to use it. And this will be mine. <laughs> that was cool. I love that. That's so fun. I'm going to be out of breath. I had to take my inhaler earlier today because the allergies are finally here. So I'm already out of breath using this, but that's fun. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be playing with that all day long. Okay, so we got one of the whistles. Let's do a little witch thingy in here. Let's give them some vampire teeth and a skull eraser. Let's do a ring, a pencil, of course, you need a pencil, and some candy. Just a few pieces of candy. And there we go. And so what I'm going to do is get one of these little strings and then get a little skeleton guy and put the string or the tie through his little head thing and then tie him on the outside of the bag just like that look how cute that is yeah and now I'm just gonna keep doing that I'm gonna make a bag maybe I'm gonna make a few bags with just toys in them because again I am doing the teal pumpkin project so that's for kids who have food allergies and can't eat candy so it'll be no fun for them on Halloween if they don't get something that's just fun to play with and have toys in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a few of those as well. So I'm going to use little happy jack-o'-lanterns and I'll give them a little sticky skeleton. There you go. I'll give them a bouncy ball, a yo-yo, I'll give them one of these flutes. An eraser, you gotta have a pencil, um, a little 
spiky ball and a ring you have to have a ring and I'll do a kaleidoscope in this one and a couple quarters how fun is that and then you just tie it up there we have it one for just toys so I will be putting these aside so I know which is which um, let's make another one with the skull little kid and this one I'll give them like one of these little stickies and an eraser another one of these little spiky balls let's give them one of these lips um, let's do a rubber bat and a ring let go a pencil let's see what else what else what else what else something another like big thing let's do some teeth that should be good and then a little purple skeleton to go on the outside so cute and there's that one let's make another candy one yeah I definitely wish I had some more things just cuz I I want to give out so many things and I know that I can't yet but I will one day I will and it'll be great and it'll be awesome I know that my house used to be like the one that was anticipated like kids would look forward to coming to my house which feels great <laughs> to know that like your house is the best house that does all the cool stuff and gives all the cool things um, but you know being in college for four years and not being here kids didn't you know not that my house wasn't good <laughs> when I wasn't here but I'm back so now they get to have all of these amazing awesome goodies that they can look forward to and my house will be once again the best house to go to on Halloween. I have been thinking about maybe doing another haunted house at some point but that'll probably be we'll see where, where I am next year financially but it looks like that's gonna have to wait until I'm a bit older and I have a good stable place on my own and I can do another home haunt because those are the best I love home haunts it was a lot of fun it was stressful yes boy was it stressful but it was a lot of fun and very rewarding in the end so I might do another home haunt okay so that's it for today's video I just wanted to do the treat bags get them all together talk to you guys about them show you how I display everything and put them together so I'm just gonna put together the rest of them watch some spooky Halloween stuff relax as I'm doing it have some fun thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy today's video if you did you can subscribe down below if you like to follow me on my other social media you can do so down below and I will see you tomorrow for the next one bye